Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and I'm here in Floral Park, Long Island, and behind me is an unbelievable monument honoring 9-11. I've never seen one this big. I've been to many firehouses, and this is unbelievable. But on another note, I'm standing here with Firefighter Joe O'Grady, and we're gonna talk about Operation Wounded Warrior. Right, Operation Wounded Warrior, it's formerly known as Nassau County Firefighters, Operation Wounded Warrior. We are a standalone 5013C organization, and our sole purpose is to bring gifts and physical therapy equipment to wounded soldiers who returned home from Afghanistan and Iraq. Kind of saying thank you because the soldiers picked up the fight after 9-11 and the firefighters working down at Ground Zero. The soldiers are overdoing the battle in a, in a foreign land, and, they, and most of them are coming home wounded. Unbelievable. Joe, that's great. Perfect. If you want to find out about Operation Wounded Warrior, go to firehousekitchenshow.com and there'll be a link to their website. We're going to be cooking here today with firefighter Bob Klepfer, and he's making an unbelievable piccata dish. So let's go inside Floral Park and let's start cooking in Floral Park's Firehouse Kitchen. Okay, we are here in Floral Park. We are with firefighter Bob Klepfer. Give me five, Bob. All, All right. right. Good to see you. Now, this is a very cool episode because Bob is a chef. And uh, a lot of firemen think we're chefs, but we're not. You know, we, we do cook for a lot of people, but we've had a couple chefs on the show, and you do, you see the difference, you know, just with the ingredients that you guys have, the knowledge of the food that you guys, you know, it's, it's just a very, very cool thing. So, let's go. Ready work. to go? I'm ready. All right. Today, we're going to make um, sauteed pork medallions okay. with pancetta. Uh, we have Israeli couscous and grilled asparagus. All right? All right. All right, so a little olive oil in our pan. Okay. Get it smoking hot. I've already made the, uh, well, I parboiled the, the couscous already. Oh, so yeah. we're just going to reheat it with a little chicken stock. Very nice. I have that on a low. Looks like a little pastina. It looks like a... It, it looks yeah. a little bit like that, especially, you know that with, with little kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got like that. And I married an Italian, so I know a lot about pasta. There you go. There you go. All right, so we take our pork medallions. Nice hot pan. Nice sizzle. Good. And we're only going to cook that for, we're going to cook it until the pancetta gets a little crispy. OK. Flip it. And uh, I'll throw it in the oven for a second. It won't take long at all. Yeah, because it's so thin, it cooks up real quick. It's very thin. Almost like a piccata. OK. All right? And I love piccata. A little bit of seasoning. All right. We've got the, uh, the couscous going. And with the sauce that we made today, we made a brandy, a brandy red wine sauce. OK. We'll finish it with just a little nut of fresh butter. And a little, uh, a little fresh parsley. Sounds wonderful. All right, we got the pancetta. Pancetta's getting a little crispy. Okay. All right, so a bit more. The pancetta, very nice. It's nice. It's very yeah. nice. Good tasty dish. Yeah, yeah. A little hearty. Almost like a bistro dish. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Once it hits that heat, it just goes right away. It goes like automatically. Now we'll leave it on the fire here for 15 to 20 seconds. Okay. And then I'll throw it in the oven. Um, it takes a minute and it'll be done. Wow. That's awesome. Get the sauce going. Sauce is good. Now what got you into cooking? My grandparents had a bake shop when I grew up. My, uh, both my grandparents and my father were in the bakery business. Okay. I was 10 years old. And that's what we did in those days, you know? Uh, I worked every weekend for them. Mm -hmm. And I got the bug. Yeah. Well, you know, that's, it's, today it's not like that anymore. Like, when we were kids, our grandparents, when our parents did, we would do it with them. 
You know, and we learn. There's no, there's no kids working at ten years old. No, there's no, there's no kids working at ten no. years old. I used no. to go to papers. You know, I used to, I used to, yeah. Did you have a paper out? I didn't have a paper out. No, but I, I always say that's what, that's what's destroying America. Is there's no more paper routes. So, ten and twelve years old. I used to go and collect. I learned how to add. I learned how to, how to sell. I learned everything, and uh, they took the paper route away. Yeah. Replaced it with, uh, tele with, with iPads. And with the iPads, iPads, yeah. Uh, everything's computerized. All right, right. A uh, couscous is nice, nice and hot. Okay. Gravy's good. We'll leave the pork in. We'll leave the pork in the oven for another five or six seconds, and okay. uh, we'll take it out. And we're good. We're good to go. And look at it. We'll dress it up. All right. I love it. I love it. So firefighting was that you, after you were uh, baking the bread? We always watching the firemen go past the bakery, and then you said, you know what? Well, I want to come fire. Believe it or not, my fire, my father was a firefighter in New Hyde Park. Oh, wow. OK. And he was also an ex-chief in the New Hyde Park Fire Department. Oh, okay. That's where I got the bug from. Nice, nice. So I was in New Hyde Park Fire Department for five years. Did you do the juniors? Did you start that young? And, I uh... didn't start with the juniors. In those days, we really didn't have juniors. You know, you're talking 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So down, yeah. All right, that's ready. All right, I'm going to heat up the asparagus, and then we're going we're to be ready to plate. All right. All right. I hope, you, I hope you're going to be hungry. I am. And I know that, you know, the crew that's here filming, one thing that they're happy about when they film Firehouse Kitchen is they eat good. They eat good. They always eat good. All right. Pork medallions. I love it. Nice crispy pancetta. Then what I like to do for presentation Sorry, that spoon was a little hot. Okay. Nice couscous. Little couscous. Yeah, see the vegetables inside. I love it. Oh. Presentation. We don't do this all the time in the firehouse, only mm -hmm. when we have special guests. Mm -hmm. Nice grilled asparagus. I love it. Nice and healthy for you. Icing on the cake. A little bit of spice. A little bit of beauty. A little fresh parsley. Season nicely. I finished it with a little bit of butter. Wow. This looks like something you might get at a restaurant. Maybe a restaurant in Garden City. Actually, actually, we do serve this every once in a while. Do you? Yes, do you? we do. Good. Okay, Ray. I mean, uh, I think you're gonna enjoy this. I think I am. All right, let me grab my knife and fork, and let's see what we got here. You're not gonna taste it with me. All right. Let's see. Should I put a little? Uh, Absolutely. On it. Don't think your asparagus makes you healthy. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Now, we didn't say it yet, but you do own a restaurant. I absolutely do. What restaurant do you own? Uh, proud owner of Walk Street in Garden City, mm -hmm. American Bistro. Wow. Um, and this is one of the dishes that we, we serve there, and we also serve our firefighters also. This is unbelievable. We're gonna go to a safety tip right now, and we come back from that safety tip, we're gonna go to this ultimate egg dish. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's safety tip is ear flaps down. Here's our helmet, here are our ear flaps. For comfort, we walk around with our ear, ear flaps tucked in. It holds our helmet on nice and tight because we don't have a mask on, it takes up that space. But when we go into a fire, this isn't a fashion show, it's safety. The ear flaps come down to protect our ears. It keeps heat off our ears. It can also protect things from dripping on us, like hot, uh, roof, roof tar onto our necks, or any embers getting onto our necks, that roof flat, that ear flap protects us. So it goes on, ear flaps down. There you go. I'm Firefighter Ray, and these tips save lives. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and we got a pretty cool show today. Today, it is just me cooking in my firehouse, the Bayport Fire Department. I am going to make us the ultimate omelet. You guys are gonna love this. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our sausage. So, I'm gonna throw this into the pan. And I'm gonna grab 
some oil. And I'm going to put it around the base of the pan and move it around. That's no, okay. There you go. And just a little bit of butter. Just a little bit of butter. Yep, Firehouse Kitchen, plastic forks. I know, we always comment on it. All right, so here we go. Firing it up. You don't want to get it too hot. I don't want to sear the sausage, okay? These take a few minutes to cook. So all I want to do is I want to get this hot enough that it browns it slowly. All right, let me get that sausage cooking up. Nice. I put a little butter in there. It gives a nice flavor, okay? And we are going to be putting a little bit of garlic in this meal. I could just take one full garlic clove. Not that I could. I will take one full garlic clove, and I'll throw it in there just to give the sausage a little bit of extra flavor. So we're just cooking around and keep moving it around. One thing about sausage, you don't want to cook it on one side really hard, and then one side not as much. You want to cook it evenly. So every few seconds, probably 20 to 30 seconds, I turn it around, I move it around, I get that sausage. So we get a nice golden brown. If you see, it's already starting to turn nice and brown on one side. Look at this, it's only been on for what, a minute? All right, we are back. My sausage is just about done. I'm gonna turn it off, because we are not done with this grease that we just cooked in. I'm gonna take my sausage, and I'm gonna bring it over here, I'm gonna put it onto a plate. Oh, baby, look at that. Oh, baby. Now, what's nice about this is I didn't fully cook it, okay, because it's gonna cook some more in my ultimate omelet. But right now, when I cut it up, it's gonna be nice and squishy, and it's gonna fall apart a little bit, and that's what we want. That's what we want to happen, okay? Now, my grease is nice and hot. I'm just gonna drop it down a little bit. I'm gonna put on a little bit of a simmer, okay? Because right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our onions, okay? This is, we're gonna let this cool a little bit so we can cut it up. Let me move these over. So, we're gonna cut up an onion, all right? Now, if you guys been watching Firehouse Kitchen, I am not the expert chopper, okay? But I like the way I cut up onions, okay? Real easy, here we go, we're in the firehouse. We're just gonna peel that first layer off, we're gonna throw it right on the floor, because that's how I do things here. And we're gonna cut the tops off, good. I'm gonna do the other side, peel that first layer, and we're the first two on this one. I'm gonna chop that top. And get rid of all the garbage. Get everything onto the floor in the firehouse. And one more. Now, I don't want to overpower it, so I'm not going to use the whole onion. I'm going to use the smaller of these two quarters. That's it. Get rid of that first layer. Awesome. And cut that top. Now, I don't want to go too crazy. I don't want to make this too small, because I want to taste some onion in my, in my omelet. So I'm going to slice it sideways. Giving them nice, so it holds together. One more. And sideways on this one. Before while it's down, it's okay. And through, good. Don't want to cut off my fingers. And the last one. Now what I want to do is I'm going to throw this in the pan, and I'm going to let it get nice and soft. Not fully, fully cooked yet. It's going to go right in there, give it a little bit more flame. There we go. And we're going to move it around. Now, Right now, this onion is mixing with that delicious fat from the sausage coming through. And this is gonna taste delicious. Let's add a little bit more butter, because a little butter always helps. It's got lots of protein. I didn't say it was the healthiest for you. Maybe another name for this could be like the heart stopping omelet. All right, as we're pushing it through. All right, so we're just gonna let that soften up a little bit. Now, is that softening up? And the next ingredient that's gonna go in is gonna be my garlic. All right, garlic, same way. I wanna taste my garlic. I'm not gonna mince it up. I'm just gonna slice it right up. That's what I want, good. Slice it right up, nothing crazy, okay? If you make it too small, especially, it'll just burn right up in that, in that, in that oil. And I don't want that to happen. I want to taste my garlic, and I don't want to taste burnt garlic. You burn one clove of garlic, forget it, your whole meal is done. If I'm cooking for 10, 15 guys in the firehouse, yeah, that'll ruin the whole meal. And I botched some meals in the fire department, as you've heard on some earlier shows. And I minced my clams. I burnt my rice. All right, so. 
while we're sitting there cooking up nice big pieces, this is going to be beautiful. Awesome. And that's going to soften right up. We can start on my sausage. Now watch how these sausages just cut. Let's get a fork. Here we go. Stab it right through, and we're going to slice it right up. I'm going to coin it, and you guys are going to look at me like I'm crazy. Set. And then I'm going to slice it one right time through. Now watch what happens to it. It breaks apart a little bit as it does that, and that's what we want. We just want it to break apart a little bit. There we go. There you go. Okay, one more time. Because I'm making an omelet. I don't want to take big pieces of sausage. I want to mush it in a little bit. I want sausage in every single bite. Now we're going to take our sweet sausage, cut it the same way. Now, I'm going to take this sausage that I'm, that I'm cooking, that I just cut up. I'm going to put it in. You know what? I'm going to bring my pan right over. Look how beautiful my, my garlic is. Let me see how it is. Let me see. Yeah, a little bit more. It's getting there. It's perfect. And now I'm going to put the sausage right in. That's it. Swipe it right in there. Put it right on the stove. This is cooking up. We got, that's still got to soften up a little bit. I'm going to get rid of my sausages. And I'm going to bring over my sun-dried tomatoes. Now, I could just throw these right in, OK? But like I said before, we want it throughout the whole omelet. So I'm just going to cut these up. Now, you might be saying, oh my gosh, Ray, you use the same knife to cut this and that with, and this and this. This is the fire department. We use the same knife, same fork, same spatula for everything. All right, so cut up. Beautiful. Let's bring our frying pan back over. Sun-dried tomatoes is going in. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? How crazy. Is this omelet? This is insane. It is the ultimate omelet. Okay, this is all cooking up rather nicely. Good. Uh, what's it going to be next? Next is going to be our capers, of course. Okay, we're going to put those right on top. This is cooking up very nice. It is looking very, very delicious. I'm going to add one more vegetable. Okay, I am going to add my spinach now. Now, what is nice about my spinach is my spinach looks so huge. It's so delicious. It doesn't, it, it puts flavor in, but it doesn't overtake anything. It doesn't consume the meal. But all that spinach is going to shrink down into nothing. I'm going to let that cook down. You'll see in a few minutes, it's going to cook down. It's going to be wonderful. Um, I made a mess. That's one of the reasons why my wife doesn't let me cook in our kitchen. Uh, let's go to our fire fact right now, and when I come back, everything's going to be all cleaned up. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's fire fact is the airbag. This, what's in the palm of my hands, can lift 15 tons. We have bigger ones that can lift 30 tons. If somebody gets wedged or caught underneath something, these are very fast deployment. We stick it under, we attach the air hose, and it can lift. 15 tons. We could stack these on top of each other. We never put anything in between them. It's bag to bag. I'm Firefighter Ray, and my fire fact is the airbag. Well, we are back, and I think our spinach is ready. Let's see. Uh, yes, it is. Very nice. Remember all that spinach that we had? That's what we got left now. Now, I made a big batch here. We can't put this all in my ultimate omelet because that would be the ultimate, ultimate omelet. But I made such a big batch for a reason. This could not only be just for an omelet, but it could also be the topping on some rigatoni. You just take a nice spoonful of this and put it right over the top. Good. You take just a little bit of olive oil. Not a lot, just a little bit, just to make it a little moist. Good. And we can mix this up, make this nice, awesome. Up and not make such a terrible mess. Here we go. And there you go. We have the ultimate rigatoni now. Unbelievable. All right, I'm going to put this over on the side and I'm going to take my everything, mix it around, my ultimate omelet mix. Very good. Let me see my garlic. Look how soft my garlic is. Unbelievable. Excellent. Oh, it's all breaking up nice and beautiful. Let's get to the eggs now. Okay, I'm gonna put this back onto the oven. Not gonna turn it on. Okay, on the eggs. Here we go. Let me get my bowl. And let me grab a fork. Very nice. Now, I'm gonna break my eggs. I'm not gonna throw these on the floor because that would really be dead. Then the fireman will come in and yell at me. 
Got that little right in the garbage. We make four eggs here. Nice big ultimate omelet. Awesome. And then we're just gonna scramble these bad boys up. Now the way we scramble, just circular motion. You stab the yolks first, and then you just circle it up. And you can use a whisk, okay? But you don't have to. Forks are fun. Forks are fun. Especially a plastic fork. Alright. Good. All right, beautiful. Look how clear and beautiful that is. Now, before I dump these back in, before I dump these into our pan, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this back up just a little bit. I had it off, because if I left the heat on it, it would burn. We do not want to burn. All right. That's it, not too high, just enough. So right when those eggs go on, it'll start cooking right away. A little bit lower. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna add our eggs. Delicious eggs. There we go. Eggs are gonna go over the top. Now, when, I, when you pour the eggs on, pour them in a circular motion, okay? I wanna get that all in there good. Eggs are all in. I'm gonna throw that into the sink. And now the eggs, they're starting to cook right now, okay? You can hear them sizzling a little bit. And I'm just gonna move the spatula back and forth and I'm gonna cook those eggs. Everything's gonna be almost like you're making a big scrambled egg, okay? And just pushing everything back and forth. All right, now I'm taking this ultimate omelet, but really like scrambled eggs. But what's gonna make it an omelet is I'm gonna push it all together. It's all gonna go together. Let me just turn the heat up a little bit more and I'm gonna smush it all together. Here we go. Awesome. All right, we are almost done. Now, my secret ingredient, feta cheese. Feta cheese is gonna go over the top. Not too much right now. Right now, I want this little portion to, mix, to melt in. It's gonna get it all gummy and it's gonna bring it all together. It's gonna turn, we'll call it my ultimate scrambled omelet. Gonna leave my plate ready. It's going. My salsa, we're going, and that's it. Okay, and we're just about ready. Now, as we dish this out, that cheese is gonna keep melting, okay? So I'm just gonna keep it all together on the plate. I made a lot here. Let's just put enough of one portion on the plate. Good. I'll bring that home to my wife, Lori. All right, we'll put this all together and a little feta cheese on top. A little feta cheese on top. I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit. It'll come through. You guys like salsa, should we make these Spanish eggs? You can put it on the side for dipping. I like to sprinkle a little bit right on top. All right, I'm gonna taste my ultimate omelet. We're gonna see how good this bad boy tastes. So as I dip through. Oh my gosh. I must say, I did myself this time. For my ultimate omelet. The feta cheese, sausage, taste is spectacular. To find out more about Firehouse Kitchen, go to firehousekitchenshow.com. You can find out how to donate to the Iceland Town Fire Museum and also to the Burn Center. Um, and Fred is on Facebook at Firehouse Kitchen. I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna keep eating my ultimate scrambled super duper wacky wack chewy omelet. I'm just gonna give it 100 different names because it is just unbelievable. And I'll see you guys later. Mmm, delicious.